hello guys now we here welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial we would be making this square neck kami crop top if you want to see how to make this then keep watching let's You will divide your bust and waist measurement by four without adding any seam allowance because the fabric is stretchy. I am dividing my upper bust measurement by four. I'm using the same method I taught you guys in my last video. If you don't have a calculator nearby, you can use this method. I'll put the link to the video I taught you guys this method down in the description box below. So check it out. I am placing my upper bust measurement at the top part of the fabric. I am using the whole length of the fabric I have with me here, which is 12 inches. Um, you can go longer or shorter, it depends on what you want. Do you? I'm just going ahead to um, divide my waist measurement by 4 without adding any seam allowance. You'll be cutting out four pieces for the main and the lining, so use the first one as a pattern to cut out the rest. Now for the straps, you can go slimmer or wider. But I decided to go wider using 5.5 .5 inches wide and 10 inches long. Please use between 13 to 14 inches long because mine was a bit too tight around But the if you want strapless, you can skip this part. I'm going to fold my straps into two and sew on one part so I'll be able to turn it inside out. You need two straps, one for the right hand side and one for the left hand side. What you do to the right, you do the same for the left. Jump. 
I am going in by 3 inches from the both sides. So I'm placing the straps in a way that the place I joined is in the middle instead of the side. You remember you cut out four pieces earlier, so you need two for the front and two for the back. Guys, I'm not even exaggerating. You need pins. You really need pins. They should be your best friend at this point. Please don't forget to remove your pin when sewing so your needle does not break. I am just trimming and notching all the raw edges so it is not bulky. I'm just here repeating everything I did for the first part. Um, go in by 3 inches, pin it down so it doesn't move around. I have gone ahead to my sewing machine to sew it. Now you would have to open it all up then match up the side seams like I'm doing in the video you see that you really need pin you really do Please guys, we're sewing along the side, leave like 1.5 inch open so you can turn your clothes inside out. Don't forget to remove your pins when sewing so your needle doesn't break. So I finished joining the whole part and I forgot to leave an opening. How much was turn it over? Like how? Okay. I'm making this mistake so you guys don't make the same mistake. See? You see how much I love you guys? So yeah, let us Sim rip open a small part where you can turn your clothes inside out. Use the opening to turn it inside out.
after turning it inside out you are going to close up the opening either by using your sewing machine or using a needle and thread. After closing the opening you are done. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. And make sure you turn on your notification bell so you will be the first to know when I upload a video. Let me know in the comment section below what you would love to see next on this channel. Thank you so much guys. Love ya.